Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how I've made this triple diamond point card. That's what I'm going to call this. Now you can have it as a top fold, as I have it here, or you could have it as a side fold. I think that looks really nice as well. So it's entirely up to you. And then I've just finished it with my sentiment along the bottom there, but you could have pattern paper at the top. You could have your big sentiment up here or topper and have pattern paper down here there's so many ways to decorate this but i am going to make another one like this one today because i've got leftover pieces and i'm actually giving this one away already so i want to have another one in my stash so let's get started so for the flowers i've used my funky florals you get 14 dies in this set so you get your three here which will make this kind of flower then you get these three here which will make ones like this you've got the centers and stuff as well and then you've got these three here which will give you a flower like this you've also got the leaves which i've already cut and then you've got your sprigs here as well and i've done those ones with a mirrored silver card stock so all of that's been cut already for the sentiment for the first one i used a little something just for you which is this one down here and then this card is going to have this one which says wishing and hoping and dreaming so it's like a just because card really and this is an old woodware one liners but it might still be available as always all of the products that i'm sharing today i'll link in the description box below so it's a really easy one to do so you just need a six by six card blank or if you're making your own you want a piece of 12 by six and along the 12 inch side you're going to score at six inches and just fold and burnish so you have your card there you also then want your mats and layers. So I've got this black piece, which is five and five eighths by three and five eighths. And then the white piece on top was five and a half by three and a half. And that one will go on the top of this once we've trimmed away the bottom here. You also then want three pieces of one and three quarters squared and then three pieces of one and a half squared. So what we want to do is take the card and open it up and you're going to cut away two inches from the bottom. OK, so now we've got the fold. This piece here, you then want to cut down. So you've got three pieces of two by two. So I'm just cutting that piece two inches and then this piece. You're just dividing it by three. So whatever size card you have, whether it's a shop brought, just measure the length and divide it by three. And that's what you want to cut your sizes to. So whatever the, the length is, you want to cut that width off the card so they're exact squares. OK, so I'm going to stick this piece now on the top of here. So this one's going to have a thicker white border with the thin black border, whereas this one here has got a slightly smaller white border. Just up to you how you want to do your mats and layers. You want to stick that one down first. I've just done a very light stencil design on there just to break up that complete white surface. You also want to cut yourself a piece of five and three quarters squared, which I'm just sticking inside the card here. And then I've cut this piece of three and a half by five and a half. And you're going to stick that towards the top here because you want this flap to cover it when it's closed. Then we've got these three triangles here. So we want to stick, first of all, these two down. Now you want to make sure that the point hits the end of the card and this point hits the bottom because these ones are going to be what they stand up on. So I'm going to just use some of my quick grab glue and I'm just going to pop a little bit just on the top point there. So again, focus on the bottom point and then lining it up with the side there. That will ensure everything's straight. And again, this side here and just make sure that those two points line up with each other as well. And then to go on the top there, I've got these two pieces, which are one and three quarters squared. So I'm going to stick those over the top. Now it's up to you if you then want to stick these pieces, which are one and a half squared on top here and then pop that on top. So you've got them all looking the same or you can keep these ones with the block black and then just do the middle one. So I think this one we're going to do it slightly different. So I'm going to do all three but just so you can see how it looks. I'll just keep that one in the frame there so you can see how it looks with all three of them. But we'll do this one slightly different. And like I said at the beginning, this could be pattern paper. You might be stamping a small sentiment in this, doing some coloring. And then with this piece, I'm gonna pop a foam dot on the top corner and then the two sides because it just looks quite nice having this one lifted off from the rest 
for this piece just make sure you focus on this point here and you want to get it in the middle so these two triangles are the same if you want to mark or lay a ruler down so you're getting it perfectly on the three inch you can but i'm just going to eyeball this like so so now you should have something that looks like this so now we can start arranging the flowers so i'm going to do the same pretty much as what i did before i like to use hot glue when i add the flowers because i just feel you can really like move them around if you want to see how i make these flowers i will share a tutorial because i have a dedicated tutorial on flower making and you can see just by adding a little bit of hot glue you can really push them right in you know together you can do this with other glues as well it just takes a little bit longer to hold it in place and i always find that it's once you add the leaves that that really starts to kind of bring everything together and by doing this you can see you get them kind of overlapping each other i think they look quite nice and pop that one up in there and then bring that one down like so okay so now i'm going to start feeding in all of the leaves i'm going to speed that part up So I'm just finishing off the card now with my sparkle pen and I love using this. It will go on a bit darker but it will dry completely clear and then if you want to go over it some more you can layer it up. And this is by Spectrum Noir and it is called Crystal Clear. Again, I'll link that in the description box below. But that's the finished card. So I hold it up. Hopefully when it catches the light you can see all that sparkle. For the pearls there I used these black ones here. I've had them for ages, but black and navy always looks nice together and they were the perfect size for the centre of the flowers there. So I thought that looked quite nice. But yeah, really pleased with this one. And like I said, you can have it this way as well. You could stamp your sentiment in that middle square. I think that would look really nice. But they've just got such a lovely look about them. So I'll bring them in this one as well so you can see. And if you've got any glue strings, if you're using hot glue like myself, just blast it with a heat gun and that will take them straight off. Yeah, there you have it so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from me today like i've mentioned in the video i will link everything that i've used today in the description box below if you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing it really helps out my channel and hit the notification bell as well and that way you'll be notified every time i upload a new video check out the ones popping up now as well i'll put up something similar you might want to go and watch that one next take care and i'll see you all again soon bye